Hi everybody, my name is Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. My goal here is to help teams and individuals like yourselves to do church and event production with excellence. So welcome to the 7.16 Pro Presenter update. This is a really cool update. I'm so excited for some of these core features. So if you go on Renewed Vision's website, you can see the list of features. We've got macros, we've got HEIC, iPhone pictures, and we've got this cool scale and blur feature. So we're gonna go through each of them but I just want to kind of give you a quick overview of what's happening in this update. So I'm over here in ProPresenter. I haven't updated it yet, but I want to take a look at a couple of things, right? So over on the right side here, we've got our macros. I'm just going to take a little screenshot because I want to remember what these look like. I've got all my different cues. This is my ProPresenter 7 template that I sell on my website at crazyamazingdesigns.com. It has a bunch of pre-built macros so you can do things inside of your ProPresenter folder. So for example, I've got my worship look here that it uses the macro to trigger a look, the worship look. So when I click on it, and now in my multi-view here, you can see that I've got everything set up. So worship, the text is in the middle of the screen, the text is in the lower third, and the text is on the stage display as I click through the songs. So if I go to my full screen worship, then you can see that it's on the same thing for all three screens. So anyways, those are my macros, but ProPresenter 7.16 is gonna change the macro. It makes, it makes it really exciting. And also, if I go to my finder, and I type in .heic, and I find a picture. Oh, that's a good one. I use that picture sometimes. Let me drag this heic picture into ProPresenter. Ah, you can't click on it. You notice that? Because it doesn't support heic. Okay, so we're gonna go up to ProPresenter, settings, we're gonna go down to updates, and now I'm gonna go ahead and click on at the bottom where it says release, I'm gonna change it to beta. Fantastic, it's gonna check for updates, and as soon as it finds the update, there it is. And with all the improvements, you can actually see a bunch of these what's fixed. So there's these new core features, but then there's also these little details that they have fixed. The one that I went through and noticed is if you ever right clicked on the inspector, you couldn't actually click on any of the tabs or do any of the settings because there was a bug. So they fixed it in this update. So that's really exciting. We've got to love ProPresenter. It's such a great platform, such a great software for churches. And it's so cool what you can do with ProPresenter, with live streaming and just with putting content videos on your screens. It's so much fun. I love ProPresenter. If you want to learn more about ProPresenter, check out my other videos here on the channel on YouTube at Crazy Amazing Designs. I've got a full series. Whoa, what is happening here? This looks so cool. So in the bottom right, we now have our macro bits. So they changed the look of it for sure. So let me go ahead and put some stuff on the screen. You can see the little macro icon has changed on the slide itself. And I'm wondering, because I know if you right click on it, you can change the icon. I'm wondering if it updates it over there too. Let's find like a, I don't know. Let's find the top hat. Now let's drag the hat. Oh cool, it changes the hat and it puts the hat over here. So you can do custom icons now. You can do custom colors, but you could do that before. So the big thing here is that the collections, right? So they get this drop down here. So now I'm gonna go click plus. Let's do like lighting, lighting collection, okay? So now let's go back to our default main collection. And I have a bunch of lighting scene cues here. So let's kind of, let's click and, yeah, you can click multiples, very nice. Go right click, move to lighting collection. So now if I go over to our lighting collection, there's all of our lighting cues. So organization has been needed in macros for a long time. You know, the one thing I'm looking at here is that I'm not sure I'm really a big fan of. Let me go find that screenshot that I took earlier. Because when this is kind of in the full bit mode, oh no, this is the side. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. So I would rather it be smaller again, but I don't know. I guess this is kind of cool how it's a bit bigger because you have to scroll a lot. But theoretically, you're going to have a bunch of different things and a bunch of different collections. So it's not so much a problem. But yeah, these things look really cool. Just being able to organize stuff. So we could probably create another one and separate my uh, template here into sermon. Sermon collections. Okay. So now go back to default. I've got a bunch for the sermons. One, two, three, four, five. We've got everything from the first slide of the sermon so that we can start our timer. We've got our sermon full screen look and then a lot of these other ones for streaming. So we've got our sermon scripture, our sermon notes, our sermon full screen for our videos and our sermon blank if we just don't wanna put any on the stream. So I'll just go ahead and right click those, 
move to sermon collection, but I can also add to sermon collection. It'll keep them in this existing bin, or I can move them to the sermon collection. So now they're not in here anymore. If I go over to sermons, there's all my sermon macros. So organization is going to be incredible. I could also create a worship one, I guess. Yeah, let's see if we can right-click and add to. We can't make a new one, which is unfortunate, with the, exist, with the ones in hand. But... That's still pretty cool. I'm, I'm, inter I'm into this section here. This is pretty neat. Okay, so, oh, also, let's see what kind of file types. So, let's see here. Let's go to change icon, because you can import icons, apparently, which is really cool. wonder what kind of file type the icons, like, can I make this screenshot my icon? Surely we can find something better. Let's find an HEIC file, because those weren't even allowed in ProPresenter before, and now they're allowed, so we might as well try to, you know, make a weird HEIC file. We can make my face from that picture. Oh man, come on, little computer, search. H-E-I-C. Let's find one. Let's find that file. Hmm. Okay, what's a good picture? Is that a good picture? Is that a good picture? No, these aren't really great pictures for icons. Well, let's use my uh, let's use my wire cam picture. Open. Oh, look, the wire cam's there. And if I drag this into the slide, you can see the little tiny wire cam. That's hilarious. Okay, well, clearly there's a lot to play with on this. So the next big thing is the ability to import HEIC files. So go back to my computer. Let's type in HEIC. So there's that picture again I was playing with. Let me drag that in. Let me maybe find a couple of other ones. Okay, it's asking for something right over because I already imported it earlier. We don't need that picture anymore. Um, I need a video. I just need like a, a portrait video. Let's see here. Downloads. These are landscape. Well, anyways, it imported. Remember that picture I tried to import earlier? It imported. So I'm going to... Yeah, that's really cool. You can import HEIC photos anywhere in ProPresenter that you can import pictures. So you can even open a slide and you can import it onto a shape. So also the next feature is the scale thing. So right click and then go to scale and blur. And now it drags it out to the side. And if I clear this text, you can see how cool does that look when we get, turn the multi-view off. And there you go. You can do this with videos also apparently. Let's see if we can find a video. Oh, look, here's a video of me, of me uh, figure skating. Oh, but it turned it sideways. I'm not sure how to fix that. So let's delete that. We need a video that'll stay portrait. Okay, this is a good one. It's kind of square, not portrait, but whatever. Okay, let's clear that. So now I'm going to play this one, and you can see it's playing in the center. And now I can right click and go to scale and blur. And now if I play it again, it plays it in the center with the stuff on the side. It's basically zoomed in. This is a common technique to do inside of like Premiere Pro and on video editing. But one of the cool things I like to do in Premiere is you can adjust the position of the background thing. So something I'd really like to be able to do on here is to be able to adjust that position of the background. One of the examples that I saw, there was an image with a line in the middle, but then the line was blurred, but it was right here. So it was like kind of annoying. You kind of want to line those, those uh, lines up. Well, hey, that is all of the new features inside of 7.16. I can't believe ProPresenter 7 has released 16 updates, core updates. These are huge updates since ProPresenter 7 was released. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below the video. And if you have any interest in learning ProPresenter, uh, reach out, uh, check out my email address in the description. Uh, check out my website. You can book a training on my website. We can go over ProPresenter together and figure out your hardware issues and figure out your needs and how we can help you uh, do ProPresenter with excellence, do production with excellence. I'm Nathan. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.